Hello Year 5 and 6. And today's date is Tuesday the 6th of July and this is our first guided reading session of week 11. So the Nowhere Emporium by Russ McKenzie. Now again can I answer different types of questions about the chapter Hands in the Darkness. So you know what I'm going to ask you to do to make note of the following questions I'm going to listen carefully to today's class read, which is chapter two, Hands in the Darkness, and answer your questions. Now, today I'll be reading chapter 23 as well, but you won't have any questions to answer on that chapter. So just the first chapter, chapter 22. OK, so our questions are as follows. So if you make a note of these, number one, what does it mean if you are emaciated? Do you think Daniel should trust Vindictus, Vindictus Sharp? Why, why not? Predict what Vindictus Sharp may do in the next chapter. Question four, explain why the author writes Book of Wonders in italics. Okay, so that's where the writing slopes forward. Number five, what did the latch on the door sound like? Number six, what was suffocating Daniel? Number seven, what did the voice whisper? Number eight, what did Daniel get? Sorry, how did Daniel get rid of the door? Number nine, what happened every time Sharp saw the book? And ten, summarise this chapter in no more than two sentences. So if you want to pause this, make note, or if you can take a picture of the screen on another device so you've got the questions handy. And then listen to chapter 22 to answer the questions now once you've done that you can come back to this one because i can go through some of the answers well all of the answers with you okay so pause now have a go at answering the questions obviously leave this and then come back to it for the answers Okay, so hopefully you were able to answer those questions. So let's have a look at what we could have put. So question one, what does it mean if you are emaciated? So that would mean wasting away almost skeletal. So the hands that he saw in the room were like skeleton, like they were withered and they were wasting away, emaciated. Do you think... Daniel should trust Vindictus. Why or why not? Well, I think it's getting a bit... His intentions aren't seeming very clear at the moment. So I put no, because he seems to be more concerned about the Book of Wonders. Although he has saved Daniel's life twice, he still seems that maybe he is saving it because he wants to get at the book of wonders i don't know you might have different reasons or you might see different things but there is my evidence so three predict what vindictor sharp may do in the next chapter well he's getting very keen on the book so i'm thinking he may be he may be he might try and steal the book of wonders Okay, number four, explain why the author writes Book of Wonders in italics. So italics is when the writing slopes forward. So I, it is to separate the name of the book from the rest of the text. Okay, so it stands out. Um, so now I've got some straightforward inference questions. So what did the latch on the door sound like? It sounded like a gunshot in the hush. So a gunshot in the quiet hush. What was suffocating Daniel? Shrunken, withered hands, fingers, hands. So this is where they were describing the emaciated. Seven, what did the voice whisper? Leave us. It's very creepy. And how did Daniel get rid of the door? He burnt the page that he had drawn in the Book of Wonders. So where he draws one of the rooms, what you might see in there, he ripped that page out of the Book of Wonders and burnt it. And the door then disappeared. Question nine, what happened every time Sharp saw the book? 
his eyes would shine and a strange look would creep over his face. So this is even more reason why he doesn't seem very trustworthy. And then to summarise this chapter in no more than two sentences, well, I've put Daniel and Sharp are continuing to search the crumbling Emporium to find Lucy and Silver. Daniel is starting to feel very unsure about trusting Sharp and is wondering if his motives are sincere. So is he really on Daniel's side? So his motives are sincere. Doesn't seem to be. Okay, so have a check your answers. Maybe you've got something different. So as long as you've got your evidence to back it up, then that is absolutely fine. Okay, I think we'll leave it there. So goodbye for now, year five and six.